like, I need to do my hair. Look, 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 look at this. I need to, I'm trifling and I need to take these braids down. <laughs> okay, but so in the meantime, before I uh, take these braids down, we are gonna put on a wig. Let me show y'all the wig. Oh, I got this wig from Seely here. Yeah. Let me prop y'all on something because we doing this the ghetto style, okay? See, <laughs> Seely hair, like y'all, I look so busted. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it together today. I'm gonna get it together. Why is it not staying? Okay, Seely hair. The set is a 16 inch, but they gave me some goodies. All right, so. We got some eyelashes, a comb. This is a cute little color. A bonnet. Uh, probably like one of those. What is? What is? What do they call these? Um, a hairband, some clips, and an edge brush. So let's see what the wig is. All right. So we got. A five by five lace front with deep wave, 16 inch, 180 density. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, off top, we're gonna do a glueless method. Can I open this? Okay, okay whatever. This is the wig. <laughs> this is the wig here. So, let me take her out the packaging. Okay, so she's out the packaging. This is what we're looking like. Okay, the lace is definitely soft. It's very soft lace, but it, I don't think it's HD though. And the hairline is like not really free plucked and you definitely can see the knots. So this wig is going to take some work, okay? So we're gonna put some little elbow, elbow action into it, all right? So it does come with an elastic band, which is good. It has combs and adjustable straps. Um, the feel of the wig is nice. Let me see. It smells like hair. It smells like hair. So this is just gonna be a, a deep wave bob at this point because it's 16 inches and it's very wavy slash curly. So it is going to shrink up once it dries. But of course, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some bleaching because we are not gonna walk around with these. Ooh, and I need to go get a feel. So, I have my bowl, my brush, the wig, of course, and you're gonna need bleach. So you can use any bleach of your choice. I'm just gonna use some Sally's Salon Care and uh, some quick blue to get this job done. We're gonna use a half a scoop to a half a scoop to get this consistency and the amount that we need for this process. So. Half a scoop. That's all we need. Don't need too much. And then. Let's go. That's it. Mix it together. So it's mixed. We're gonna let it sit for a couple of seconds so it can oxidize, get a little thicker, a little fluffier. Meanwhile, we're gonna turn our wig inside out so we can prepare it for bleaching. Okay, and then we're just gonna place the bleach on there. I like to start at the hairline. I want to make sure that that is fully covered. And then spread it down. We're going to look at the knots to make sure that they're fully pushed through. Lift up any hair. And it's sitting on the bleach. Right. And then you're gonna take the remainder little doo-wop of bleach that's in here, boom. And we're gonna push it through to make sure everything is covered. Okay, so 
cover now okay so this is what we looking like um i didn't wipe off the hairs good enough but it's okay because when i plug it i'm gonna pluck that off anyway so but you could tell that it's been changing so we're gonna go ahead and rinse this off These are the two shampoos that I'm going to use. Purple shampoo to tone the knots. Garnier to cleanse the hair. So while that is sitting, I'm going to add some Garnier Fructis at the end and comb it through. Just to make sure that it's clean. Okay, so now that we shampooed the wig, I am gonna take my silicone mix. This is a deep conditioner. Treat it like a conditioner. Um, it does have instructions on the back, but I will tell you, um, leave it on for about 30 minutes or longer. It depends on you. Um, this is what it looks like. And I like to wring the wig out so it won't be too wet because this has a lot of slip. And if you put it on dripping wet hair, the product is just gonna fall off the hair. So you want to make sure that your wig is actually, has majority of the excessive water out. And then you could go in, oh, look at the knots, they're cool. So you could go in with your conditioner and you could put it all on your wig and it'll stay. But if you put it on dripping wet hair, it will slip off because the product has a lot of slip, okay? You wanna make sure that you take the same conditioner and put it on the inside of your lace. And you wanna do that because of the fact that um, we just bleached it. So we wanna make sure that the hair doesn't dry out, doesn't shed. Because if it dries out and shed, you're gonna experience balding, okay? So just put it all over and just let it sit for about 30 minutes and you are good. So after I let it sit, I will go down to my workroom and I'll pluck the wig with you guys because we're gonna do a Google install with this, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is the wig after it's been bleached. Um, as you can see, this needs a lot of plucking. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, the wig is dry. I washed it yesterday. So I'm gonna go in with some water with the front of the hairline and then I'm going to take my tweezers. I don't know where they are right now, but we're gonna pluck this. So I like to wet my hair. I like to pluck my hair when it's wet. Um, the hair was drying out, so I did go back in and wet it with some water. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna, um, part out the area that's already pre-plucked and I am gonna go in with my Revlon tweezers and I'm going to just go pluck. And you don't wanna stay in the same area for too long, you wanna just rotate back and forth. All right, um, I am not plucking as fast. This video is sped up. It was actually way slower than this. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep, I'm gonna do this to both sides until I get the density that I want. And then once I do it, I'm gonna just go ahead and do my baby hairs and everything like that. Once everything gets plucked and I add some baby hairs, this is what the wig turned out looking like. I love the texture of this and this was actually the perfect length. Um, yeah, so 
here she is and now we're going to install this on my friend janisha you guys already know her she wanted a glueless wig and so i gave her just yeah, that i am we got to do this. Damn, bitch. <laughs> 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 mm -mm. Okay, so this is a completely glueless unit, you guys. All right. Um, there's no adhesive, there's no gels, there's nothing but elastic bands, combs, and adjustable straps. All right. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to push back the baby hairs and then I am going to cut off the excessive lace with my um, razor. Once that is cut off, I am gonna um, mold her baby hairs down. You, this is Janisha, my friend that loves the thick, big baby hairs. So, of course, I'm gonna give her thick, big baby hairs. Now, she is not used to wearing uh, closures, but she wanted to start getting into closures. She wanted to take a break from the frontals. So I was like, okay, let's let's closure you up. You feel me? And so uh, she's trying out the closure for the first time. She actually really loved it. This was filmed very late, so we were tired. Um, I was, listen, we was we was tired. Um, I took my um, what tart shape tape? I don't know the color. It's tan something, and I'm I'm using a, a brush, a blending brush, to stipple that on her lace. But yeah, so after that, I'm gonna uh, use my wax stick to her part is not in the middle, but oh well. That's it. Uh, like I said, we was tired. I'm gonna use my wax stick and I am going to put some wax on there so I can hot comb her hair so her hairline and the top of her hair could be flat and laid. And then I'm gonna take some mousse and just work it into the hair. And that is about it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is was more of a talk through. And I like I recorded this video off my phone and I think it did a, an amazing job. Well, this is not, this portion of the video was not on my phone but the rest of it was and I think I like recording like that so let me know how you feel about that but until next time bye best friends and oh everything I use will be down in the description box for you guys so just go down there and look and yes she's cute I, Janisha looks cute in her uh, wig her short wig this is my friend that loves bobs so she it was only right to give her a curly bob <laughs> all right you guys bye